This short video will look at the Holdings Details section of the Holdings Editor in Sitka's Evergreen. The Unified Holdings Editor is used in this video. To access the Holdings Editor, select the record the item you wish to edit is attached to. On the Item Table tab, click Edit underneath the barcode of the item you wish to edit. If you're adding new holdings, you can use the Add Holdings button. The Holdings Editor will open in a new tab. The top section of the Holdings Editor is the Holdings Details. This is where you can add and edit call numbers and barcodes. Owning Library is the location the item belongs to. If you're a multi-branch system, you can change an Owning Library to be a different branch. Use the pen icon to edit the Owning Library. When adding new holdings, Use the plus icon to add additional rows to create multiple items with different owning libraries. The classification scheme tells Evergreen what classification you're using for your items, which affects how they're sorted in the shelf browse. The options are Dewey, Library of Congress, Generic, and National Library of Medicine. The call number label field is where you enter the call number that applies to your item or items. Depending on which classification scheme is set as your default, this field will pre-populate with the value in the MARC record from the 082 subfield A or 050 subfield A, if there's a value in the field, and then can be edited. The call number entered here is specific to your library. You can set up call number prefixes and suffixes that then display as a list for catalogers to select from. They can be used to ensure more consistency in cataloging. These prefixes and suffixes are displayed as part of the call number and included when printing spine labels. If you don't use prefixes and suffixes, you can hide them via the Preferences tab. When adding new holdings, use the plus icon to add additional rows to create items with different call numbers. The barcode field is where the item's unique barcode is entered. The item number field is where you can give items a number if your library tracks that. The item number does not appear in the public catalog or on the spine label. If you don't use item numbers, you can hide the field via the Preferences tab. When adding new holdings, use the plus icon to add additional barcode fields to create additional items. When working with multiple call numbers, you can use the Batch Apply section to batch update some of the fields. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.